What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at a very cheap inform. Actually, he's going for pretty much the discard price. He has really high card weight, but is there a reason he's going for the discard price? That's what we want to find out. Is he worth that discard price? Because even if you try him out, you could just discard him and get your money back anyway. So this review is if you should actually bother trying him out. So, but before I begin, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code Uton to get 5% off. Now, I want to ask you guys in the comment section below, let me know who is the worst striker you have tried out in this uh, in this FIFA Ultimate team. And also, who do you want me to review from the next team of the week? That would be pretty cool because I have been seeing Suarez, second inform, second inform Ribery, uh, sorry, not second inform Ribery, inform Ribery, and second inform Ebra. So if it's true, and there's an inform Balotelli, so we'll see if it's true. But let me know in the comment section below. By the time this video is out, it would have already been confirmed. Now, let's Let's talk about Wissam right here. He is really good when it comes down to, you know, pace. He's got a decent pace. He has really high acceleration. Decent sprint speed. He has 80 sprint speed. Um, he's an okay dribbler. I didn't find him to be anything amazing when it comes down to dribbling. He has that four-star weak foot as well. And decent finesse shots outside the penalty area. You could probably be able to score one if you're good at them. And he has really good reaction. So when he's on the floor, he would get up pretty much instantly and get back right into the action. Now, what you're seeing here is the kickoff glitch. This guy did it on me. I couldn't defend it. And then I did I do it back on him and you couldn't defend it either. It was just, it's just too OP, man, in this game. Anyway, very bad positioning with awful work rates. He has medium and medium work rates. And with that really shit attack positioning stat, I think it's like 73 you will definitely see it. He has no, he doesn't make any runs at all. And even if he does, it takes ages before he starts thinking, yeah, let's make a run. So you'll be um, trying to make him run most of the time and you'll get really annoyed by the end of the match. You'll be begging him to make runs. That is how bad it was with him. He's very weak as well. He has decent heading stats, but he is five foot six or five foot seven. So there's no point of having good heading stats if you're never gonna get to the ball. And this guy didn't win me any headers at all. Now his stats I think I played like eight matches with him. I was only able to manage to score like four to five goals. So it was really really hard to finish with him in the penalty area. It was so hard to get him into the fucking penalty area to begin with. So he has uh weak shots as well. By looking at his in-game stats, you would think his shooting could be a bit good, but I felt silver players have way better shooting than this guy. Um, he's very weak as well, so even if he gets past defenders, if you're dribbling with him, he's got decent dribbling. If you dribble with him past defenders, they will easily catch up to him and just get him off the ball very easily. Now, that is pretty much it for this Benyada review. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate a like. Now, this is my honest opinion about him. He, he was a big letdown, probably one of the worst strikers I have tried out in this FIFA Ultimate team. But let me know who is your worst striker in FIFA Ultimate Team this year. This will make a nice discussion in the comment section below. But his finishing, I think, is the highest stat that he has. And it is not even that good. I mean, in the penalty area, I am scared. He is not even reliable to finish in the penalty area. So, I don't know. I just don't even want to play with this guy anymore. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review from this new Team of the Week. And I hope you have a very nice day.